Hi, everybody. I hope this message finds you all doing well. You're probably wondering, what am I supposed to be doing for the week of April 13th? Well, I'm glad you asked. Right here is what we have planned for you. For the drones and flight class, what I have for the week of April 13th is if you scroll down and find the week of April 13th, I only have two small items in here. The assignment link and also to complete your weekly reflection. Remember, anything in yellow you have to do. So, if I clicked on the assignment link, it's going to take us over to the details of the actual assignment. And we're starting to look at pre-flight checks and weather concerns in this unit. So as we go down through, I want everybody to first do this Edpuzzle. So if you click on the Edpuzzle link, it's going to take you over to log into Edpuzzle, and it'll just be a nice video for you to watch um, with one or two questions in it to answer, which aren't a big deal. After that, you have two options to complete for this assignment for pre-flight checks. The first option you have is um, to use the Internet and or the Weather Channel, use the TV to do a little bit of research. See if you can find some information about are the conditions okay to fly and what you should be considering when you're ready to go fly. Even when we would fly the Sima drones at school, if we were to start taking them out to the fields at the, at the school, um, the Simas can handle wind up to about five miles per hour. So answer the following questions on a Google Doc and upload it through the assignment link that we have here. So some of those questions are, you know, what time of day are you going to fly? Where are you going to fly? What are the weather conditions? If the weather conditions are fine to fly, great. If not, what's wrong? So again, I already mentioned here that the Simons can handle five miles per hour. So check wind and weather conditions. Um, Assuming all the weather is good to fly, what should you check? If you're going to go out to those fields, it's a long walk back if you forgot something. So what should you be checking as you go through? The other option, what you could do for this assignment, is download a couple of apps for your phone. I have two very good apps here that are used by most drone operators, and they are available on both the Android and the Apple platforms. So download them, install them. Um, UAV weather forecast is just a great quick check to make sure things are going to be good for you to fly. They can also be customized. And the Before You Fly app is actually put out by the FAA, so it's, um, it's a nice app to use. And there are some other apps that you can install. You know, that's up to you if you want to try to do that or not. And then I'm asking the similar questions that I did for the other one. So that's the assignment. Post them and see how things go. I'm going to go back to the home page. And also what I'd like you to do is your weekly reflection assignment. So if I scroll back down here to the week of April 13th, complete your weekly reflection on your Google Doc that you set up this past week. If you did not set up that Google Doc yet, I still need you to go in through this link and follow the instructions to embed some code from your Google Doc into the Canvas link so it's easy for me to access it and just read them every week. Remember, once you go through this link the first time, and here's also a video on how to set up that, that Google Doc embedding because it's easy to miss a step and then for it not to work. So please follow that closely, but once you've gone into Canvas once and, do, and have done that, you never need to go into that Canvas link again. Just maintain the Google Doc, and I can see it at any time, every time you've made changes to it. Remember, as we go through the week, I always have office hours from 8 to 9 o'clock every day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. There's Zoom live video chat hours. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have a Google Doc that if you type in a question, I'll be monitoring it, and I'll be able to give you an immediate response to it. And then also, you can email me at any time. So have a great week.